What's up, guys? Jay, morning after kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 1 Game of the Year Edition Enhanced on PS4 because Gearbox still hasn't fixed a motherfucking memory leak on Steam. <laughs> And the other day, I was filming for my Pinnacle Purple Weapon Guide series and managed to actually, factually catch the Borderlands 1 memory leak in action. And I also had my frame counter enabled so you can watch how the frames in my game start to bleed out from over 200 frames per second to well below 60 and eventually gets to the point to where it drops below 30 frames per second. Pushing this any further will cause the game to crash as the computational limits of the game engine is reached and it becomes a slideshow that can no longer function. So, it implodes. <laughs> now, this is exclusively a problem with the enhanced Game of the Year Edition Borderlands 1 on PC. The original Borderlands 1 on PC didn't have this issue. However, the original version of Borderlands 1 is also no longer on sale on PC. It's been removed from the marketplace when the remaster was released. Meaning that the only version of Borderlands 1 available on PC is broken. And Gearbox hasn't fixed this over the years because quote unquote this issue has been resolved by disabling the new digitized angel cutscenes but it's not the angel cutscenes only exacerbate the actual problem the issue is with the compiler and memory dumping because I'm at endgame with Brick, and not once has Angel's cutscene popped up while playing. The issue is when you visit multiple places in the game without saving and quitting. All the assets from the previous areas that you visited that were compiled at the last load are supposed to be dumped at the next loading screen. H however, they, they are not. <laughs> they just keep filling up the engine's imaginary garbage can with all this data without any actual provisions in the game to dump this unused, unloaded data. But instead, it just keeps filling up and filling up this imaginary garbage can until it can't be filled anymore. So, why is this a problem if just closing the game out and reloading it fixes the issue? Well, I'll tell you why. Because memory leaks are very much dependent on your own PC specs. So, the weaker your PC, the faster you're gonna see this issue rear its ugly head. So, more people than less are experiencing these issues since more people than less have budget-minded PC builds. However, the ones that should be most concerned about this, streamers and YouTubers, with a platform to get Gearbox to fix these issues for their fan base are also the ones least affected by it since, you know, streamers and YouTubers' PCs on average are a lot more extensive than your everyday average gamer. 
making it low priority for not only YouTubers and streamers, but now it's also low priority for Gearbox to fix these issues since there's no pressure coming from the community to do so. Leaving Borderlands 1 Game of the Year Enhanced on PC in a state of perpetually broken. Just like pretty much every other Borderlands game on the market right now. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you believe thumb up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with, with you guys right now. None of this fucking matters. Borderlands is pretty much a dead franchise. It's obvious that Gearbox gives zero fucks about their games or the community that plays them. They're never going to go back and fix the crashes on Borderlands 3 on console. They're never going to rebalance Borderlands 2 or make the Commander Lilith DLC free like it should be for everybody so you don't have to lose access to your OP levels. <laughs> and they're never going to fix the memory leak. And the community is never going to understand that the larger channels in this community don't give a fuck about them. Because they refuse to risk their standing with Gearbox to get these games fixed. And because of that, the Borderlands franchise looks like it's not going to be able to recover. But at least we got GTA 6 on the way, though. Right, guys? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. My name's Jay. We're in the Afterkill. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later.
Huh? <gasps> 